As a matter of fact, yes, I do work out. Well, hey, welcome to 3.30 Thursday, the internet's second favorite Bible study. Don't forget to take a second and click that subscribe button if you like these videos. My name is Wayne, and this week we're going to be talking about the Bible's strongman. Brian Shaw is 6'8 and 425 pounds. He is a big dude. In 2015, he won the World's Strongest Man competition. This guy eats between 8 and 10 pounds of food every day. And in the Strongest Man competition, his world record for deadlift is 880 pounds. That's five of me. One of the coolest things about him on his website is that he gives glory to God for the strength and the abilities to be able to compete in the World's Strongest Man competitions. We find the story of Samson in Judges chapters 13 through 16. It was a time in Israel's history where they would have a judge, follow God, turn from God, get defeated, and repeat. After being oppressed for about 40 years by the Philistines, God's plan was Samson. Samson's mother was unable to have children, but then one day an angel of the Lord appeared to her and told her she would have a son. This son would be Samson, and he would take a Nazarite vow from birth. This meant that he wasn't supposed to drink wine or anything from, from the grape, he wasn't supposed to cut his hair, and he wasn't supposed to be unclean by touching dead things. But Samson failed. He had great expectations upon his life, and he did some wonderful things, but he also made some mistakes along the way. We'll talk about one of those mistakes today. Her name was Delilah. He loved her, and she used him. He had lied to her a couple times about where his strength came from, but then he finally told her he had never cut his hair, and because of that, that's where his strength came from. So she bound him, she had some men come in and cut his hair, and when he woke up, his strength was gone because the Lord had left him. The Philistines took him to prison, they gouged out his eyes, and then one day when they were having a big to-do, a big old party, they brought Samson out to put him on display to show the power of their god, Dagon. Judges 16, 28 through 30 tells us, Then Samson prayed to the Lord, Sovereign Lord, remember me again, O God. Please strengthen me just one more time. With one blow, let me pay back the Philistines for the loss of my two eyes. Then Samson put his hands on the two center pillars that held up the temple, pushing against them with both hands. He prayed, let me die with the Philistines. And the temple crashed down on the Philistine rulers and all the people. So he killed more people when he died than he had during his entire lifetime. Despite his failures and his mistakes, God used Samson. Samson probably didn't expect his life to look like it did at all. Samson probably didn't expect one day to be walking with his parents and to tear a lion in half. But God knew. The plans that God has for our life will often look different than what we expect to do for God. But He is God and we are not. And sometimes we just see from our perspective what we had planned that centered around us. And it can be hard to step back and look at the picture and try and see what God is up to and realize that it's not just about what we had planned, but what God wants to do through us. This week I would challenge you to journal, to write down some times when God has worked or provided in your life. It may not have been what you expected him to do, but you can see that he has worked. When we look at what God has done in the past, it can give us hope and faith as we face our current circumstances. Hey, thanks again for checking out the video today. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up or share it with your friends. Uh, feel free to subscribe so you always know when a new video is coming. Um, and if you have a minute, just go down in the comments and let me know what your favorite part of Samson's story is. See you later, alligators.